oftentimes people decide based on their ideology who they want to listen to. opportunity that climate change presents is that it forces you to think across um, silos. Eighty percent of the evangelicals went with Trump at all and um, I am not in that camp. <laughs> Interesting to be in this minority of, of people that see things. doesn't come up, but I'm really concerned about climate change because I think that sometimes we are not observing that issue. And, uh, and I notice that the weather is getting 
weird. Rainy areas are going to shift forward and leave deserts in the middle latitudes. We don't know how bad climate change is going to be in terms of impact. Local people provide kind of ground truth. All of the direct connections between things that are seemingly unrelated, but when you look deeper, everything is interrelated. In different seasons, we seem to have different kind of weather. The warmer conditions have caused many more extensive red tides. It melts when the planet warms. Obviously, don't know Our bodies are so different. different. Um, explanation for something to that. Rainiest events are getting even stronger. In the end, we do seem to pull together at the eleventh hour and, and, and try. We're not walking race on the street. We're like you have body. Climate change is what we would call a global common pool resource, which means what happens in the United States influences everybody else around the world. But it's definitely a stressor when your population is hungry because their fields are not producing. Yeah, those food. They just want insurance or mortgage to stress the bills. I, I think in science has to be able to see more than completely different way. I mean, in my opinion, but I'm you know I'm, I'm not a climate person. <laughs> but I know it seems like there's a, a drastic change in weather. You have to be able to envision things that are going to force the weather not to be in other areas. There's situations where there's like no lights outside, because that's like if I had numbers, that would be like a decision. But really, it's actually that it's a recorded population decision. It's very interesting. Great. I think it's a whole body of draw science. Our body is a source of wisdom. We are less reminded, less frequently reminded about the role we play in this interconnected international system. We tend to have a general rainfall pattern for live events, and how even just International factors tend to be perceived as less important when we make decisions. Um, on the other hand, especially when it comes to global climate change, we do look at issues globally. Unfortunately, especially when we want to find excuses why not. And so, the interconnected international system is very notable for me. Uh, I've seen a lot of change over the 20 years I've been involved. I think at first people were concerned because it was hard to balance. Climate change is what we would call a global common pool resource, which means what happens in the United States influences everybody else around the world. Stark but extremely beautiful at the same time. Sea ice in particular is quite flat. So we understand that. Or do you think cross um, silos and interests? You know, you see the places that we hear about in the news these days. And so let's see how that sort of thing is. Our body is a source of wisdom. <laughs> so it's a, it's a really useful thing. 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 It's a really useful th
the Duwamish tribe is a super fun, which is, means it's polluted. Uh, and but it didn't take just several years for that to happen. You got to, you got to sort of the people and the companies are along the Duwamish River help do that situation today. And uh, but we have a lot of we have the uh, Duwamish coalition people who are advocating and doing that work on behalf of the Duwamish River. Yes, water is very important to Native Americans. Well, without water, you don't have to eat, but if you have water, you're going to sustain yourself and go through the day. What if we took that as our starting point? Those moments of, of breakdown. Being kind of overwhelmed. strategy. Does despair actually move people to action? There's a sense of urgency and almost panic.
Fear Wearing Red. Red for the Wild Salmon. To show our allegiance with these, our kin. We are here to bear witness to the consequence of these dams, to the stark facts of decline. 90% of the inland west wild salmon in 25 years obliterated. We are here to declare that it is imperative to turn this around, to allow the river the freedom to follow its current, to fulfill its course, unhampered by the intrusion of industrial engineering. We wear red for the wild salmon whose life hangs in the balance, no longer one by one, but a whole species at a time. We wear red for the wild salmon whom I represent here today in asking, how dare we even consider continuing to infringe on their way when it spells irrevocable extinction. There is an old Okanagan story from before the white man imposed his way upon the land. In it, the people are starving because the monster deities have built a great dam that is obstructs the river trail of salmon. The people do a prayer dance, day after day, night after night. Coyote hears them in his rascally ways, brings down the dam, and restores the run of salmon. In our time, although our bellies may be full, our souls are hungry for the ancient ways that called Coyote. It is not the monster deities that have built the dams, and it is not Coyote who will breach them. It is clearly up to us. I wear red for the white.